ahead. Um, why don't you go up, if you can, you go up there and stand without tripping on it. Thank you. Yay. Okay, today the students are going to be our teachers. We've already talked about this in Sunday school. So who remembers? I'm coming down here with you all. Okay, so we can pass the microphone around, all right? Who remembers what that is? It's our church calendar. It is the church calendar. Okay, what is important about the church calendar? God has the cross on it for us to all have Easter. Yes, the cross symbolizes Easter. That's very well done. Bella, did you have something to say? It tells all the events in church. It tells all of the events that happen throughout the church year. When we look at the calendar, what do we see? What do you see? Do you want to say something, Peyton? A star and a cross and other colors. A star and a cross and other colors. Who can tell me what that star might symbolize? Luke. Luke hasn't spoken yet. Luke. Christmas. Say it loud, everybody. Christmas. Christmas, the star symbolizes Christmas. What else do we want to say about the church calendar? That's, it's in the shape of a circle. Why is it in the shape of a circle? Because it keeps going around in every year. It keeps going around and around every year. Does it have an end? No. No, and neither does the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God has no end. We are living eternally now. So is there anything else that we want to add about the church calendar? I see a red box. Luke, do you remember what that red box means? Pentecost. Pentecost. That's the only red box on there. Okay, so that we have squares and we have different color squares. Um, what might the purple square symbolize? Advent. Advent, yes. And is, when, when do we celebrate Advent? Who knows when Advent starts? On the holidays. On the, on the holidays. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, we begin the season of Advent. So we're not at Advent yet. Who remembers what the word Advent means? We talked about this one, I know. Okay, why don't we all say it together? Do you remember? Okay, it's a time of waiting. Say, say it now. Go. A time of waiting. Advent is a time of waiting. And what do we do when we wait? Do we just sit and do nothing? We prepare. What are we preparing for? Jesus' birth. We are preparing for Jesus to come to earth. And we are preparing for Jesus' second coming now when we celebrate Advent. What are some things we can do to prepare now for Jesus' coming? Say prayers. Sing prayers, yes. What else can we do? How, what are we going to do this Thursday? What happens? What happens? Hanging of the greens. Well, that's next Sunday. We do hanging of the greens. That's one way to prepare. We look at symbols, right? This Thursday is Thanksgiving. We give thanks to God, and we share his love. Those are things that we can do with active waiting, and that's what we do during Advent. We actively wait. Okay. I have the arrow. Who remembers where it goes? Okay, Peyton, I'm going to ask you to put it on, and you can walk up and maybe help her if you want. Both of, Everybody that had their hands up can walk up and help her. And you got to press hard because it's not against a wall. That is the week we are on right now. Good job. You guys, thank you for helping, helping teach today. You taught the children's sermon. You did very well. Thank you. Let's pray. Fold our hands and bow our heads. And Father God, we thank you for bringing us together for such a time as this. We thank you for the Advent season that's coming up and for Thanksgiving that we get to share your love with friends and family. And that's one way that we can, in fact, prepare for your second coming is by sharing your love with others. I ask that you go before us this week as our shield and our defender. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you.